The new book is called Fields of Gold and uh, I'm very excited about this new book because it's, it's the one, it's the story I've wanted to write um, since I first started writing and never felt I was ready to do it but I'm ready now, I've, I've done my apprenticeship so I'm, I was ready to write a big saga and it's set in the 1920s so it's an historical saga that s starts off in Cornwall and we'll take the reader through Rangoon and um, down into southern India. So it, it's really moving across continents, um, which, which I quite like. And it's following the, the story of two men who come from very different backgrounds um, but form this tremendous friendship. But they're also bound together with a very dark secret, which the reader will share. Um, and this friendship just gets deeper and deeper until it is torn apart by the arrival of a woman in their lives. This book, because it travels over so many uh, continents, it needed a lot of research. And because it's set in the 1920s, you can't just wing it or you know, get all of your information through the internet. So um, I found myself striding across the clifftops of Cornwall, going down tin mines in Cornwall. Not the most glamorous of research, but certainly um, very enlightening and quite uh, poignant in a way that I began to really appreciate what the tin miners were up against and the kind of conditions they did work in. And I mean, I was looking at a mine from the 1920s, I can't imagine what they were like in the 1800s, you know. Then I had to go to India and make sure that I knew the Indian component of the story that I'm writing. It was just the best thing I ever did. The book is so much richer for that effort. You know, tasting the food, um, looking at the women in their beautiful saris, um, walking through markets, meeting the family that I didn't know I had, which was probably the most extraordinary part of it. You know, hugging people who I didn't know existed and didn't know I existed and realising we're bound in blood, you know. It was just an extraordinary time. Walking in the footsteps of my two grandfathers was, uh, you know, quite touching um, and getting to see the places that they saw and beginning to understand what life must have been like in India in that time. And so that was very important to the book as well, to, to spend that time and, and to understand totally what I was going to write about.